Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. I'm Peter Moxeling, Keeper of the Archives, and last time we had what honestly should have been a pretty simple VIP capture mission. To, uh, it was like one of the Resistance Council mission type things. Then I decided to just play really recklessly on the first two turns and just utterly destroyed my squad as a result. Like, holy crap. It's not quite as bad as it was with the uh, Chosen Warlock mission, but it's not much better either. Let's go ahead and take you off of this really quick. And you to there. So that we can put this there. What does the upgrade do? Is that the uh, hyperstasis pod or whatever? Hypervital module, yeah. Hypervital module is basically spend one Illyrium core, like once per soldier or something, and they instantly are at 100% health again. But you can do it once per soldier, like in the game. I don't have any cores, right? No. So yeah, this gremlin is actually just useless. Let's take that off just so that I can uh, remove Emma here without too much concern. 16 and one day, and then we can transfer you to go over there. Okay, cool. Check hey, items really under. quickly. I don't think there should be anything new. No, no. No, no. I saw Tygen muttering to himself in one of the corridors. I'm not sure he even noticed me. Bradford trusts him, but I'm still keeping my eyes open. Alloys and crystals, sure. New course. And again, we have the black sight in our back pocket, so we can we can stop this timer when we want to. You room. Cool. Hold off on actually doing anything here, because uh Zero power, yeah, that takes zero power if you put it on this spot. Normally it would take like 10 or 15 or something. That to get it down to nine, I think. Eight. And then use you to start clearing that one out. Go ahead. Some of our people are a little worse for wear after that last covert action, but if we give them time to rest, they'll be fine. We didn't get ambushed? It was a moderate chance. That was I actually assumed we were gonna get ambushed there. Okay, Jane Kelly is injured. Additional intel on the Chosen as a result of our latest action. The resistance found a way into the Chosen stronghold, Commander. Our troops are ready to deploy. We should launch a strike as soon as possible. Low chance of an ambush. I don't really care about you. You would be a big loss, but also you're a major, so we should be okay, I think. Edit. Yeah, let's take those off of you really quickly. Um, I want to give you an okay gun, not that one. Uh, darn. Uh, oh, hey, these buttons are here. I didn't. Think. I just realized this is going. This is going to unequip all of these things. Oh well, in for a penny. Let's give you tracer so you have better aim, and give you that. Realistically, keep you on the uh, plasma. Okay. Oh, there's a risk of capture. What? what? Am I missing something? Like, it lists captured as a thing in the risks if there's an actual risk of there being a capture. I'm gonna not do that and see what happens then. If uh, Major Edwards here gets captured, even though it's not listed here, then hey, the game did give me some warning, just not good warning. So, fair I guess? Ah, uh, do that. We will begin the covert action immediately, Commander. Okay, so that's seven days on that one. Thirteen days on that, so we're safe. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. Honestly, there wasn't a lot that happened this month, I think, so we might get a bad rating. Your progress against the aliens over the past month has been significant, Commander. But there is still room to improve if we are going to eliminate the alien threat. 
Yeah, three avatar progress is one of the things that's a little bit difficult to make him happy about. My dream, my focus, all of my efforts have been rewarded. I am reinvigorated. This is an annoying ability to deal with. Ironically, I could have taken her down before this, before she got this, because I could have, because I could have gone to attack her a day ago or whatever. So actually, um, we never got to see this because I kept killing him too quickly. This is like one of the two keynote abilities of the Warlock. I don't necessarily know that he had it this time because I never saw it, but that was always a thing that I remember from the past is that it was always shoot him once, teleports halfway across the map, shoot him again, teleports like somewhere in the middle of all that, and you need to kind of balance out how you were fighting him by not committing too hard to one angle because you knew he was going to move. I trapped my prey across time itself. Do you really think there's any place you can hide from me on this world? I... Dude... Hunting your prey through time itself is not impressive. Th that means that you saw your prey... And then you saw your prey later. That that's not impressive. <laughs> okay. Bending re oh fuck. That is annoying. Alien cipher, fairly annoying. Don't have enough I don't think I do have a fair bit of intel. I'm not gonna reveal a hidden event though. Next retaliation is imminent, no uh facility being constructed. Oh yeah, timer does not begin until it's well lost concealment. I thought we got rid of that one. Weirdly enough, this now seems quite useful. And XP gains aren't as useful at this point because we're starting to get uh, up to the Major and Colonel level. Hmm. For now, it's still useful to keep this so that we can get those last couple of rank ups, but switching this out for this later might be a good idea. Don't have any new orders or whatever these are, so meh. Investigate that. Go ahead. Avenger plotting new course. You know what? Let's check this really quickly. Six days on that. Since I still... You know what? I do have this. Yeah, let's go ahead and build resistance comms here. Resistance communications facility construction initiated. Off of that... Onto that. Because getting all the extra resistance comms is actually a really good idea because a lot of the, well, all the facilities except the black site are locked behind uh, areas that we don't have access to. Prove to be an important step forward. New research. Beam cannon, codename Tunguska. Tygen has been less than eager to push the limits of the plasma weapons we've come up with so far. And while I agree that we have to be careful working within the confines of the ship, I still don't think we can let that hamper our progress. The aliens are going to send whatever they can after us, and we should be prepared. With that in mind, I've come up with a few improvements to the core plasma rifle design that should allow us to step up the power without substantial increases to weight. With the added intensity, it, may, it might also be possible to divide the targeting field into a multi-shot projectile stream. I'm guessing the heavier variant will be best suited to the Grenadiers. They don't seem all that concerned about carrying around unstable ordnance. All shotguns deal plus one. Just deal. Just go with this then. I agree. That is an important task, Commander. And yes, you are staffed. Good. Wait for this to go. Good. Ignore, back. Down to here. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. Items, weapons. There we go. Improve bond, down for three days. Sure, go ahead and do that. Okay, three days, three days, covert action, covert action for three days, and lightly wounded for two days. Okay, three days and we are back at full power. And that's seven days for Storm Gun. 
And we don't have the Plasma Sniper yet for some reason. I thought that was going to unlock with the Beam Cannon, actually. Okay, a uh, quick editing Peter note here, actually. I was able to see during editing that the Plasma Sniper research is there. It's actually right behind my head in the research screen. Whoops. But that probably means that it's locked behind some other research or autopsy or something to that effect. I'll check next episode. Maybe once this is all over, we should take this ship and go cut. Keep building the relay over here. And you know what, when that three days are over, let's go ahead and do uh, Alien Towers. Or that. Do your friends realize that their fate hinges only on your return to the Elder's grasp? Yeah, she's definitely going to show up. It's been way too long since we've seen one of the Chosen in a mission. Oh. Three of our four majors are on uh, other things. One, two, three, four, five. Can't really, dude. That's like your goddamn knee is grazed at that point. Ugh, six. Oh, wow, we do not have, like, a backup sharpshooter. Uh. Three. Four. Five. I guess we're gonna do this. Are you one of the ones? No, no, okay. Hold on, who can you bond with? Oh, it's a special... Oh. No, it's a grenadier, okay. Oh. Utility. Weapons, armor, loadout, the good one, tracer rounds are on our covert action, I think, maybe? Give you blue screen for now. Do we have a second grenadier? No. Okay. In that case, you blue screen. Frost and EMP. You standard specialist loadout. Let's give you EMP and you Frost because the extra area on Frost can, get, can be really good. What are the items do we have? Gas grenade, plasma, L scanner. Okay, we're basically up to par with stuff then. Or, we basically used everything that, that's useful. You have the upgraded one? No. Take this then. Yeah, I haven't finished that uh, yet. There. And do I have any upgrades at the moment? I think I have one or two. Advanced laser and expanded mag. Plus one bullet and plus ten crit. Sure, let's give you the plus ten crit. And you're already spoken for. Oh, uh, you. You. Yes, 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 okay. I think we're good then. Only thing would then be... Abilities, zero personal AP, tactical rigging would cost 12. We aren't, we don't have other items to give her though. At least I don't think so. Yeah, like if we do this, one gas grenade, one battle scanner. Yeah, we have nothing to really give her at the moment, so don't spend the AP yet. That is kind of a high priority to get her the tactical ri tactical rigging, though. Okay, you are likely going to be borderline useless, but you are a sniper at least. You are likely to save the day because you have a great gun. And our damage is now more consistently at the plasma level. I still have mag vector, I just realized. Okay. That's probably going to be locked behind some other research then, now that I think about it. Hmm. 
can't think of who. My, my first guess is Archon, but I doubt it. Anyway, let's just get on with the mission. Mox is the only one who's even remotely tired. That's good. Let's try not to fuck this up. Assassin takes extra damage from Reapers. Good. Sky Ranger deployed. In position for deployment. Word just came down. The aliens have amassed a huge force to strike one of the resistance outposts nearby. And those people desperately need any help we can provide them. We're going in to eliminate the enemy threat and secure the area. Defend from assault, save forces, defeat enemies. That sounds like we are not going to be getting help on this one. New Earth Falls, Eastern U.S. Operation Death King. Let's go. Boop, boop. One of those chosen is leading an assault on the resistance encampment in this area. Our people are doing what they can to fight back, but we need to help protect the civilians trapped nearby. There's a group of resistance soldiers hunkered down not far from your position. Move in and help fend off the attacking alien forces. Oh, do we get help then? We get help! Yay! Dragonova! Forward. I am at your service. Chrysalids. Yep, and no way can this go poorly. Well, we don't have concealment, so uh, go ahead. Cool. Shot wide. Excuse me, what? Why didn't they scatter? Also, concealment. Okay. Now, it's, it's Conceal, not Shadow, so it's not as ridiculous as Shadow. Let's do this. Wrap up to here would be nice. Doesn't look like it, though. But you hear? Ten we can go from here. Uh, sure. Utilizing hook. This shouldn't realistically get any other reveal. And then, okay, we can literally see from the preview that we will see some aliens. That's going to be them. So let's go ahead and just overwatch where we are. I will watch. These two will remain, so you go here. Good copy. Moving on target. And overwatch. Overwatch. And here. I can handle that. And overwatch. Come get some. Hi. I have failed. Good job, team. Oh, good damage. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Uh, move here. Follow up. Stop it. Yes. Weapon running low. Their journey ends here. My ammo is gone. Uh, sure. Here. Why not? Someone will hit it eventually. Oh, you're in concealment. I forgot. Whoops. No problem, boss. The good gun. Well, how about that? Volk says I am to obey. What, do you need to be on the damn tile or something? Okay, legit, did that not get any vision? 
Wow. Okay, I'm expecting we're going into this building then. Dude here. Moving out. Hi, Codex. Hi, other Codex. You'd over here first of all. Spectre. Oh, you're out of ammo. I need to think more. Yay. You teleport. Clone. Also, you have free reloads. Yay! Hundred percent justice to kill the Kodax. You know. It That. Not too shabby. Okay, killing the Spectre might be a little bit difficult, but do we have an explosive by any chance? Not a useful one by the looks of it. Yeah, no, okay. We have two Claymores, though. Doesn't quite reach. Darn. Go for elevation here for a moment. Yeah, I can't get vision on any of this, so just go for cover. Running. Oh, that one square got something, actually. On it. I'm actually a little bit worried about how this thing is going to move, so... Are you here? As you order, Commander. And then Overwatch just to be safe about it. Oh, duh. Civilians. Honestly, good on you for taking a five damage hit and still going. There's a large group of civilians pinned down within range of your position. Sensors indicate hostile forces are closing in fast. We need to get in there before the aliens slaughter those people. Moving to position. Eighty-four. Eighty-four. I've got nothing. Okay, one more hit would do it. Ninety-four is good. Good. The resistance team is in the clear. They're moving to help the other survivors. Cool. Move over here just to get I'll some vision. You tell me. No enemies. That's good. Uh... Yeah, especially as, especially at squatty rank, don't stay too far back. So let's just put you here. 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 And Mox and Ranger will uh, catch up as they can. Another Spectre, who the Resistance might kill. God, I love that the Resistance fighters are actually useful. Neat. Dude, almost one shot a Muton. What the fuck was that? 
that last bit was the Muton. What was the first bit? Yeah, that. Is that, like, supposed to be the radio? I don't think so. My life is in your hands. Yeah, I can't see the Muton, so I'm not totally sure if any of those are going to be useful. But if I can't see the Muton, then the answer's probably no. Put you over here. Whatever you say. Run you over here. Roger that. Go ahead and put you in full cover here. And just overwatch with you, I guess. You to the car. Go, go, go. And just round of overwatches. Moving far. I see so Where was that muton at? Okay, it'd be helpful if you all could take that one out too. That's kind of on the other angle. Okay. Some um, more than I expected. Good. Y'all took down a berserker. I could be proud of that. Another berserker. Cool. That sure is an explosive you're next to. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Stand clear. Well, I have 85 and 27, so I think I know which one I'm shooting at. Okay, because of the full cover, assumedly, of the car here, it's actually difficult to get a good angle on you. Uh, no, it doesn't quite work. Yeah, it's literally the it's literally the pixel. Okay, we have two grenades remaining on you alone, so let's do this for a lot of explosion. Grenade! I think it works. <laughs> Repositioning. Really? Like, is this guy actually dead? Uh, we're getting a target preview, so I think you're still alive. Your target preview is live for that square. Okay, there we go. Cool. Not good. Man, bring you strength. Combat presence. There we go. Now there's a lot of mutons and specters. That's not the button I meant to press. Whoops. There's a lot of mutons and specters and berserkers at play, so there is a solid chance that keeping someone out in the open like that is, and near explosive is not a good idea. Um. Well. Seems doable. And Overwatch. Attacking on sight. Hi. Solid hit. Yep, now the two of you. And 
the other pod. And resistance. It would be really helpful if you did take this one out, actually. That's the odd bin out here. Yeah, figured. Honestly, the weirdest thing is that is that none of you have gotten killed yet by being in the same room as this lot. Yeah, go for elevation. Ooh, and full cover. Good for you. I wish it was I'm dead, but hey, okay. I'll take the I'll take the help. Yeah, only forty one on that. Go for the eighty two. Enemy down. Now remember, we do still have a faceless here. We haven't seen it yet, but it is somewhere. Reload. This should not be free. Currently on yellow. Go for the 81. For the free. We have a grenade. We do. Out. Good. One health remaining. Okay. Time for the faceless to pop out of the woodwork. That's affirmative. On overwatch. And you go over to here. If she gets revealed at this point by, by a faceless being revealed, then so I be it. Let them pass. Okay, we aren't aligned well for that, but a faceless isn't too difficult at this point either. Also, we have about 10 resistance operatives about to just make the faceless about 20% lead by volume. Yay, elevation on the Spectre. Getting a little too warm over here. No, you really didn't need to leave it to me. Trust me. You do have free reload. Do you have... Yeah, you do. Locked and loaded. You're already getting promoted, actually, so let's try not to use you. Actually, can I remote start this? I can. Sure. This will be big. Lawless mission, and even uh, Dragonova stayed in shadow the entire time. And keep in mind, she can regain shadow three times in a mission at this point. Two uses of Claymore and one that's literally just going to shadow. So yeah, uh, I went to this mission trying to be less of a dumbass, and admittedly the Resistance operatives kind of carried me because they killed like a third of the map unto themselves. Or on their own. But I still was trying, and I did a decent amount. I'm going to feel good about that. <laughs> All Advent Gene Therapy Clinics will be closed tomorrow for equipment upgrades. Initial reports that the suspension of services were the result of dissident activity have been dismissed as radical propaganda. I wondered how the new gear would hold up, Commander. Looks to me like it's working out just fine. Okay, two captains up to Major, I think. And one squaddy up to Corporal. Long watch. Salvo or hail of bullets? 
Salvo is grenades or heavy weapons as your first action. Do not end your turn. And Hail of Bullets is guaranteed to hit your target, but uses a lot of ammo. Three ammo points to do that. Hmm. Those are both quite useful. Now that I'm getting into the later game and fighting more robotic enemies and more enemies with ammo, the ability to guarantee a hit is actually pretty useful. I, I might go back with whoever our primary grenadier is and kind of make a mixed class, because I like some of the later gunner abilities here, but some of but getting like volatile mix and salvo along with heavy ordnance is just so much extra boom. So halo bullets for now, and I'll try to make a uh, a plasma beam cannon that has the full expanded mag or whatever it is for six bullets total. You know what? Because I don't have that yet, let's do salvo to start with, and then get and get halo bullets later when it's more useful. Because this lets us just do more. This just lets us do more on a turn at the moment. And then, uh, Captain up to major level skirmisher. Volatile mix. What do you know? It's back. <laughs> and for the actual skirmisher abilities, we have waylay. When entering Overwatch, you can take as many shots as you have remaining actions. So that's effectively you can take a second Overwatch in a turn. Then, uh, because, uh. That, that's if you overwatch with a blue move remaining. And then Reckoning unlocks the Ripjaw... The Ripjaw... Ripjaw... Ripjack Slash attack. Uh, by placing the movement cursor over an enemy, dash move using both actions, and still trigger Slash, 5 turn cooldown. So this is just a melee attack. Not gonna lie, this is actually less exciting than the others have been. Eh, let's get Reckoning, I guess. That's one where I, I, I'm not super excited about it, to be honest. One Codex Brain, 19 Rescued Civilians, one Illyrium Core, thank god, one Data Cache, two Chrysalids, five Spectres, three Berserkers, two Mutons, and one Faceless. You have done an outstanding job leading the Resistance, Commander. And that is it for the mission, and thus the episode. So, if this video hasn't ruined your life, then go ahead and do all that YouTube. Then go ahead and do all that YouTube stuff for a million times. I hope you have a wonderful remainder of your day, and hope to see you in the next one where I will take a break so I stop stuttering so much, and then come back later. <laughs> see you in the next one. Bye. I don't mince words when it comes to aliens, and the skirmishers are no different. I don't trust them, and I don't like sending my people out hand in hand with them. That said, they're definitely loyal to the commander. They could put up a hell of a fight.